What's up, audio nerds? Welcome to the Audio Hotline, the channel where I review audio gear for beginners, professionals, and everyone in between. The uh, doorbell just rang, and I know for a fact that it is a package for me, and that it includes some microphones. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and unbox the Shure SV100. I felt like it would be fitting if I used the SM58 while I was unboxing this. So that is the microphone that I am using currently. I guess you just have to rip this thing apart for real. But I will be doing a sound comparison between these two microphones here in just a little bit. All right, well, now that I have wrecked the box, I guess I'll just throw that to the side here. <laughs> It's a uh, XLR to one fourth inch, and um, here's some, of course, documentations. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, this microphone comes in at thirty dollars on Amazon. Here is what it looks like. It has a little XLR cap thing. That's kind of cute. It feels pretty sturdy. It's definitely a lot lighter than the SM58. But hey, it's not bad. It's nice that it has an on and off switch. The grill is strong. I mean, you could definitely give someone a bruise with this for sure. As you can see, there is no mic clip. It's just the XLR, the microphone, and the documentation. I actually don't even think you get a sure legendary uh, big ass sticker. I'm... Nope, nope. No sticker. Now I have the Shure SV100 plugged into my Zoom H5, set at about 55% gain. I am actually using the cable that came with the microphone, and this is the kind of signal that you can get out of it. When I was unboxing this microphone, I was using the Shure SM58, so you can get a little sample of the difference between these two microphones, but later on we will test them right next to each other. Let's go ahead and get into the specifications of the SV100. Where the f*** did the spec sheet go? Oh, my fat f***ing ass was on it. <laughs> Silly me. The Shure SV100 is a dynamic, multi-purpose microphone. It has a frequency response of 50 Hz to 15 kHz, with a cardioid polar pattern and an output impedance of 600 ohms. If you want to get intimate with the SV100, then this is what it's going to sound like. And if you decide to invite your little friend windscreen over and have a little threesome, then this is what it's going to sound like real close to the mic. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled penises. 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 And this is me just banging on the Apple keyboard, and this is what it sounds like with the background noise rejection. If you're talking to the SV100 like this, it's gonna sound like this. If you're talking to the microphone like this, it's gonna sound like this. If you're talking to it like this, it's gonna sound like this. If you shoot YouTube videos and you like your microphone being off camera, then this is what it would sound like about two feet away from you. All right, now let's go ahead and test this microphone out against the Shure SM58. You can find the Shure SM58 for $100 pretty much everywhere. It rarely goes on sale. That's just kind of its going price. It doesn't really ever change much. But you can find the SV100 on Amazon and most places for about $30. So that is a pretty significant price difference. Obviously, if you know basic math, that's $70 more. But now that you've heard the sound comparison, do you think that the Shure SM58 is worth the $70 extra dollars? Or do you think you would be satisfied with the SV100? One more quick comparison. I know I've been using this mic a lot, but hey, it's for a good reason. I think that this XM8500 is actually a really good mic, especially for the price. So here is the SV100, the $30 Shure microphone, versus the Behringer XM8500 at $20. Which one do you think is better? I mean, obviously, there's a $10 price difference. The Shure is a little bit more expensive. But hey, whichever one you like is the one you should get. If you've never watched the audio hotline before, just be aware that I give each piece of gear a letter grade based off of the price and the quality of the product. 
So if I give a microphone that is a dollar an A, but I also give a $500 microphone an A, it's not that I think that it is the same sound quality. I'm just saying that for a dollar, I think that that microphone's an A, or for $500, I think that that microphone is an A. You know, a lot of people really admire the Shure microphone name. And honestly, like, I get it. Like, there are some really good Shure microphones. Like, I constantly use the SM57 as well as the SM7B. But I mean, like, do I think that they're the absolute best microphones? No, like, I think that Shure does a pretty damn good job. And the one thing that I absolutely love about Shure microphones is how f indestructible they are. They are really tough microphones. And that's one of the reasons why people want to use them, and I can completely understand that. And this microphone is no exception. Honestly, the build quality is pretty solid considering the $30 price tag. But I will say that the Behringer, right there, is actually a better build quality for a little less money. As far as just a basic microphone checklist goes, I do think the build quality is good. I think that the price is obviously very reasonable. The accessories are a little bit lacking. I do wish that it came with a mic clip. It always just drives me insane when microphones don't come with mic clips. I think that they should 100% of the time. That's just dumb. But obviously, the biggest factor is the sound quality. And before I tell you how I feel about that, I'll go ahead and give you my grade. The grade that I give the Sure SV100 is a C minus. That C minus grade just kind of goes to show you how I feel about the sound. Personally, I thought it was just really lackluster. I thought it was really boring. It honestly just was really thin sounding. Just wasn't much going on. Truthfully, it sounds like a really fucking cheap SM58. That's exactly how it sounds. And that's what it is. So would I recommend buying this microphone? No. I wouldn't at all, actually. I would definitely pick the Behringer XM8500 over this microphone. I would also pick the Toner Dynamic microphone over this microphone as well. But I know for a fact I would pick a lot of microphones over this for a similar price. If you are heart set on getting a Shure microphone to like start a podcast or doing live vocals or whatever it is, then yes, I would recommend saving up the extra money to get an SM58. And if you're looking for an instrument microphone, don't get this one, don't get the 58, get the SM57. That microphone is actually f***ing sick. I do love that microphone. Thanks for watching this review of the Shure SV100. If you have any suggestions for microphones you want me to review, or comparisons you want me to do, or audio gear you want me to review, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below, and I will f***ing get to it! I'll get to it! I will! I really appreciate you watching the audio hotline today. I'll see you next time.